What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Pretty Boy J, back again with another video. And in this video, it's gonna be a little story time. It's gonna be a story time on sadly how me and Lily broke up. This is gonna be to clear all the rumors, everything out in the air. We're gonna clear all that out. It's gonna be this is the 100% truth about what happened and about everything that's been going on, about all the. On the lies. Some people say we've been cheating on each other. Some people have been saying that she cheated on me, I cheated on her. No, we finna, finna break all that down in this video. Now, 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 if y'all want, if y'all want to see Lily come in here and we do a face to face reaction to like, we basically come out to y'all and like talk about what happened, I need this video to get, let me see, let me see, let me see, 250 likes and I will try my hardest to to get Lily in the in here in a room whatever so we can make a video and basically talk about what's happening what happened with us or like tell some things that we went wrong and shit like that so I'm gonna say my side my everything gonna be on my side stories how I feel some things might not be s sorta kind of true or whatever but it's whatever this is how I feel I'm saying so I say it was I say okay so. And I am disclaimer, disclaimer out here. I don't care at this point. I don't care. You could you could post about me what you want in your spam. You can post this video and say, oh, this nigga did this on his, uh, made a whole video about me. Da, da da da. I don't care to be honest with you. I I don't. I'm living my life. You broke. My, I'm keeping a butt. You broke my heart. I'm just keeping a butt with you. I'm just letting everybody out there know what had happened. Cause everybody come up to me and tell me some what happened with you and Lily. Oh, y'all broke up. Da 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 da. da. Yes, me and Lily broke up. It's done. Finito is over with. We broke up. So I'm finna make this video. And I don't give a fuck at this point. So we're gonna take this back. Out. We're gonna take this back to when we first started dating. We first started dating. When me and Lily first started dating, there was already problems off the bat. I was being too friendly. She was doing what she wanted to do. She wanted to. She she'll lie to me about little things like for example, she will lie about where she'll go, but it won't be to a nigga house. It'll be like someone with her friends or something. I wouldn't care. Just keep it a buck. Um, she would lie about what she doing and shit like that. Like I remember a time I asked her, I was like, "Where you at?" Because I guess some girls was fighting somewhere, and she was there. And then she told me, she, and she had told me she I went home or whatever. So I texted her. I was like, "How you got home?" She said she was like, "Oh, what's the call? It took me home." My friend said her name. What's the call? It took me home. And then I was like, "Oh, okay. I thought you went straight home." She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "You didn't do nothing else." She said, "Yeah. Why are you asking me these questions for?" I'm like, "No, it's just funny to me how I see I see you over there at some place um, at a fight or whatever. After you just told me you went home, that she gonna be like." Oh no! Oh yeah! I forgot to tell you about that, nigga. Really? You just lied. You really did just lie. And she just kept doing it. She just kept lying and lying and lying. Like it just get fucking. It gets aggravating. And sooner or later in our relationship, it's to the point where everything she tells me, I feel like it's a lie because, cause, cause, if. Okay, so if somebody lies to you, right, and they constantly, constantly lie to you, it'll be hard for you to trust them about what they say, right or wrong. It'll be hard as fuck because if I get if I tell you I'm doing something and you find out I'm lying 24 fucking 7, it's going to be like, oh, no, you lying. I feel like you lying because you know me always lie to me, so why should I believe you now type shit, you know? So then, whatever, whatever, that, that happened. And so then I say about, like, let me think, like, two, three months after that, she gotten better, I guess. She... She was doing better, I guess. She was telling me where she was at. She wasn't lying as much. She was keeping she was keeping it cool. She we was good. We was good for a few months. My fault, y'all. My fault, y'all. This nigga Leon just called me. By the same though. But it'll be it was a few months and we was doing good. We was doing real good. We had a nice relationship. It was good for the next few months until June came. June came, everything went straight downhill when June came. When June came, her cousin died. Her cousin had died and then she was going through it. She was in a she was in a bad place, and doing bad things. So, one thing she would do, she was she was messing with the ops. 
I'm not gonna say nobody's name. She messed with the ops. She was trying to distance herself away from me because I wasn't there for her and stuff like that, which I'm not even gonna cap. I I feel like I wasn't because, but at the same time, I feel like I was. I was trying to, but she kept pushing me away. Like, through that whole month of doing, she was putting me through so much hell. It was like, it was just crazy. Like, because I was trying to be there for you, but you messing with the ops. So I'm how you expect me to be there for you when you messing with the ops? Like, you messing with the people who try to get me jumped and you claim that they did not try to get me jumped, nigga. You don't, like, y'all just don't know. Like, if y'all was there at school, y'all wouldn't know, man. But you just try to get me jumped by the ops. Like, you think you think I'm a lot that should have happened for you to go fuck with the motherfuckers that try to jump me, try to get me jumped and tell me that they didn't? Are you fucking serious right now? But that's in the past. I don't got no beef, ain't no beef, ain't no drama with them boys or whatever, whatever they got going on. I'm just making this video out there for y'all just to know the truth. So then I say, I say a few days later, she tell me she don't need me no more, that she's done, that she don't want to be with me no more, that I'm too toxic, that I always want my way, I always want her to do this and do that, that if I can't get my way, I'm mad and shit. It's not about that. It's not about that at all. It's the fact that. It's the fact that I was so used to her, like, not going out and shit and being with her friends. I got used to that. And I wasn't used to her going out and shit like that. Like, I, it wasn't attached to me because if y'all was in a relationship where y'all only see each other every time, all the time, you wouldn't be used to them going out and shit like that, being away from you because you don't know what that person is doing. You don't know who they talking to, who they messing with, what could happen. Like, there's a lot of things going through my mind. And I was like, no, like, no, like, what the fuck, no. So I was just getting mad and upset, and, and that's where I feel like right now that I was being kind of selfish. I was being kind of selfish at the fact that I was not letting her go out and do what she wanted to do and be a teenager. I feel like I was being, she told me I was being more of a father than a boyfriend, and I feel that as of right now, I feel like I did fuck up with her. I did, like, treat her as a father instead of a boyfriend. Like, I would tell her, no, you can't do this, or no, you're not going there, or who's there, who da 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 because I just wanted to make sure she was straight because I seen that people, girlfriend the boyfriend is dying left and right, like, I'll be damned if my if my girl be the one next. Like, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to go through it. I, all the pain and shit, I wouldn't be able to go through it. So then she called me one night, and she was like, yo, like, I need a break. I need a break from you. You too talk to that. I'm like, for what? She's like, I just don't need you right now. I'm like, to the worst time, you don't need me. She was like, yeah, I don't. She was just like, I don't need you. Or she said something. I, forgot, I don't don't quote me on that. I really don't know what she said that night. It, it was a blur, but I forgot. So then I forgot what you. I was crying. And I was like, yo, like I need you. Like you can't leave me. Like I really do need you in my life for real, forever type shit. Then that whole month of June, she'll 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 be like, oh, I don't fucking need you. Da 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 da. da. I don't I don't want to be with you. I don't want to talk to you. Every time I call her, she'll decline my calls, she'll block my calls, she'll log me out of her Instagram or Snapchat and shit and change the password and be sneaky. She was being sneaky with these other with some nigga. I don't know who it was, but and she know who it is. She was being sneaky and she said she don't, she lying because she was, because I see messages myself. She was texting other niggas, doing what she wanna do as if we were on a break. And every time she needed some money, she'll beg, can you give me this or beg, can you give me that? Like and like a fucking idiot I was, I gave it to her, not because that, and I only, I gave it to her because I wanted to please her and make her come back with me, like an idiot, I gave it to her, and when I wasn't, and then if I didn't give it to her, it was, alright, fuck you then, back on block, like, that's crazy as fuck, like, I, I, I didn't, I didn't expect that from her, I didn't expect her to, to do me like that, we get to the point where I'm thinking like, Every time she needs something, I give it to her. Every time she want it, I give it to her. Every time she asks for it, I give it to her, which I do because at a certain point in time, I was the only one working. I was working the weekends at this job, making money for my, at the point for myself. But when I got a relationship with Lily, Lily didn't have a job. She didn't have a job. She didn't have a job t till I say probably February. And, and, we gained, and then we started dating in August. Whatever she needed, I got her, bro. With me, with money, and with her, money wasn't shit to me because I could always make money back. I could always make the money back. Like, she needed something to eat, boom, what you want to eat? She she needed to get her hair done, boom, what you want? What, what, how much is it? Like, I gave her that shit. Like, and you and she can't tell me I didn't because I did. 
I gave her every. I'm not gonna say I gave her everything, but I gave her a lot of things in this relationship. I put a lot of time, money, and effort in this relationship. She needed. I, there would be times where I wouldn't have no money, and I'll go ask somebody else for it and give it to her so, she, so that she could eat, or so that she so that she will be satisfied. There be times where. There be times where I have it and I need it for something, but I'll give it to her because I can always make my money back and get it and get it later. Like, I done got this girl nails done, hair done. I'll some sometimes she'll ask me, oh, can you buy me this outfit or this clothes or whatever? I do that. Like, I spent I spent money on a promise ring for her. I bought this girl a whole PlayStation for the simple fact that I'm not even gonna put a bridge out there like that. But it's something bad that she wanted one. Not because she wanted one, it's another reason, but I'm not from a bridge out there like that. That for her to like to entertain herself. Because she's always complaining that she's bored. So I got her a PlayStation. So she can entertain herself. I did that all for her because I loved her. I loved her and I loved that girl. But when it came down for me, when I needed something, oh, that's not my responsibility. Or oh, I'm not gonna have it because I'm using it on this. Or oh, I'm not gonna have it because I'm gonna get my nails done. Like. Are you fucking crazy? Out of all the shit I did for you, you can't do it for nothing for me? I remember the time where I asked if I get get $100 for some school clothes. She told me no because that's not my responsibility. Do you think it was my responsibility to do all the shit I did? No, I did that out of kindness of my heart, nigga. I did all that shit out of kindness of my heart. That's crazy as fuck, dog. I did a lot for that girl on Valentine's Day. I made that girl the happiest girl in the world. I've been by that girl's side since day fucking one, since freshman year. I've been down with this girl, and we're seniors right now. For her to do me like this? Really, bro? Like, I did so much for that girl, bro. Y'all don't understand how much I did for her. She talking about some, this is not a get-get relationship. Oh, I get you this, so you expect me to get me that. I didn't expect nothing from her. I didn't ask her for nothing. I barely asked that girl for shit. And y'all can ask her that her damn self. I barely asked that girl for shit because I had it down bad. Now, when I didn't have a job for a few months and she had a job, I was getting nothing. I was getting nothing. I barely got shit from her. The most she'll get, the most she gave was probably thirty dollars. That's it. Thirty dollars so I could buy, so I could buy other shit for myself to provide for myself. And even if, and even if she gave me money for myself, I still thought about her. I still think about, I still thought about her like, oh, babe, I got the thirty dollars that you gave me. Do you need it back? Like, what the hell? Like, I gave this girl. Oh, my God. I did a lot for her. I did a lot for her. I gave this girl, like, the, the world. I gave her the fucking world. I did the most, the most shit I ever done in a relationship. I put the most effort into this relationship in the world for her. Now, we gonna go to a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. She's been acting up, like, very bad. She's been doing what she wanted to do, as always. Not answering my calls, not answering my texts. Cussing me out. Hanging up on my face, blocking my number. Just to unblock me later that night, like, for what? For what? what what's all this for? Back in mind, I'm thinking, she being sneaky. She being sneaky as fuck right now. She probably doing something she's not supposed to be doing. So then, I get the digging. I get the digging or whatever. And remind you, I find this shit out after we broke up. This girl is seeing her ex. She is seeing her ex-boyfriend. She, she's seen her ex-boyfriend while we together. And she didn't tell me. Now, as a boyfriend, for someone you've been in a year relationship with, to find out that your, that your girlfriend that you said you love and was down bad for, is seeing her ex and texting her ex. Mind you, I forgot to tell y'all, mind you, in the month of June, she told me she needed a nigga. She told me she needed him. She needed to talk to him. She was talking to her ex while we were together in the month of June, and I did not know until she told me after. She, te- she told me she talked to the nigga twice in a relationship. Probably three, no, three times in a relationship. Dude, I hope that she kept running back to her ex. I would never run back to my ex. Ever in my fucking life. Because that, they for the past. I better call it ex because they for the past. So then. Oh my God, so hard to cry. So then when I find this out, 
I'm blowed as fuck. I'm real deal blowed. Like, I don't understand how much I did for this girl. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't. And it's sad. It's sad for me to even be on this, on this camera talking to y'all about what happened. I fucked up a lot too, though. I fucked up a lot. I call her out her name. I'll be disrespectful towards her. Like, I fucked up. I admit, I admit on camera, I fucked up in a relationship. I fucked up a lot. I fucked up. I fucked up very, very badly with her. To the point where she didn't want to stand to be with me no more. Y'all don't understand. Me and this girl had plans, bro. We had plans to get married. We had plans to start a family. We had plans to move out. We had plans for everything. We had plans after high school. We planned to go to fucking college together. We planned to go to homecoming, fucking prom, grad bash, all that shit. Just for that shit to get thrown out the fucking window. It's crazy as fuck. To this day, I still care about Lily. If y'all ask me, I still got love for her. No, not anymore. I still got love for her as a person. As a person, yes. As a person, yes, I got, I got love for you. But as a girlfriend, about the shit I just found out, no. It hasn't been a month yet, and she's already talking to somebody else. It hasn't been a month. Me and Lily stopped. Me and Lily stopped dating August twenty third, two days before our anniversary. It's been two weeks since she's already talking to somebody else. Two weeks. And in those two weeks, straight niggas on her phone. Niggas after niggas after niggas. She asked me the other day. She texted my phone. She unblocked my phone the other day for some sex. I told her no. I'm not going to count with you. She might make her own video. I don't know. I might as well expose myself while I'm on here. So, I'm going to come out to y'all right now. Yes, I was down bad crying when 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 she broke up with me. Yes, I was crying a lot in a relationship, of course. There's a lot of shit that happens in your relationship. Yes, there was a point in time where I was mad that she was spending time with family. Yes, because first off, this girl says everybody's her family. Everybody's her family. So I wouldn't know who her family is and what family isn't. There was times I'd be mad at that. Because I wouldn't believe who her family is. I wouldn't. Yes, there was times where I would be mad where um, she couldn't come see me. Cause I'll be upset. Cause I, I want like I want to spend my time with you. Like I'll, of course I'll be upset. Anybody would be upset if they can't see their boyfriend or girlfriend. There would be times where me and Lily would really bump heads, like bump heads, like that bad, like very very badly. To a point where we're screaming and cussing at each other. I'm not making this video sell out on her. I'm not if I if I would have I would have been sold out on her. I'm just letting y'all know what happened in the relationship. This relationship was toxic. Me and Lily, we both had our ups and downs. To mind you, I put this on my dead cousin's grave. I put this on my mother's head. I did not cheat on this girl in this relationship. I didn't. I was so loyal to her. I did not fuck with no other bitch. I did not kiss no other bitch. I didn't do nothing else with no other female. I don't want y'all to, to think of this video to be like, oh, he's still stuck on her. No, it's not that. I'm just putting it out there that me and her don't go out and this is the truth about what happened in our relationship. This is the truth. I fucked it up. If y'all want the honest truth, I fucked up this relationship. That's the honest fucking truth. And I hate myself to this day. I was really going, I was really down bad. Like when she broke up with me, I felt lost. I felt like nobody wanted, I felt, I felt unwanted. I felt like nobody wanted me. But the simple fact that she was the girl of my dreams. Just like Rock Wave said, but she was the girl of my dreams. And then that's just what happened. It, she just left, she's gone. She's fucking with a, a new nigga. There's nothing I can do. She don't want me no more. Every time I try to text her, it's I don't want you. And the day when I the day when I got my PlayStation back from her house, she grabbed it and she threw it at me. 
Like, no funny shit. She literally grabbed it and said, take your shit. I can buy my own shit. With Lily, money is power to her. If she has money, she don't give a fuck about nobody else. About what she thinking. Lily, she, that night, she told me, she was like, she was like, I don't want to be with you no more. I don't want to be with you. She's laughing in my face, telling me she don't want to be with me no more. She's laughing in my face that she didn't want to, she didn't want to, um, be with me. She, she was just, she was just throwing that shit in my face. She was like, I don't need you for nothing. I don't, I never need you for shit. Um, take your shit, I can buy my own shit. That's what she said. And then when I got home, I was broken down crying. Like, what the fuck? This girl really did me like that. It's been a whole year we've been with each other, and you really just did me like that. In front of her mom and her friend, she did all that shit. And I'm in front of my cousin crying in this nigga car. There was, there was a time where... Lily told me she was like, "We gonna be together forever. We we forever." Then the next day she gonna tell me ain't not, ain't shit forever. I feel like she wasn't in it for the relationship. She was in it for the money. I'm not gonna sell out. I'm not gonna sell out on her. Now if she sell out on me. That's a different story. But I'm not here to sell out on her. I'm not here to like bash her. I'm just here to the truth. This is what happened in the relationship. I wanted to be the best boyfriend I could be to my ability. I feel like I was the best boyfriend in the world to her. Anything she needed, I got it for her. Anything she wanted, I got it for her. I will always be there for her ups and downs. Sometimes I would fuck up. I wouldn't be a badass boyfriend. I would. I would call out her name. I'll disrespect her, I'll do other shit, and I'm sorry for that, I told her I'm sorry for that, I apologize, I feel like that's the reason why she acted the way she acted, because I was so, con I was controlling, toxic, I was embarrassing at some times, I was childish, immature, and that's just what it is, but she don't know, if y'all don't know, I got ADHD, I'm not trying to blame that, but that's just what it is, but this is the truth about how me and Lily broke up, this is just what happened. The relationship wasn't toxic. You see us on Instagram like, oh, they good, they straight, they are having a blast. No, it's not that. Fuck the sex, fuck all that shit, bro. Me and Lily bump heads every day, and it's because of me. It's my fault me and Lily broke up. It's my fault. I take full responsibility by we me and Lily broke up. It's my fault. I fucked up. I fucked up bad as fuck. I fucked up. It's my fault. And that's why we really broke up, because of me. She did all that shit, I told y'all, but it's because of me. She did all that because of what, uh, because of me. Because I fucked up bad. I fucked up bad. And to be honest with y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think I'll ever find love again, to be honest with you, because that girl got me fucked up. Like, mentally, she got me fucked up in the head. But at the same time, though, Chase a bag. Guys, tip that cheddar. Gotta move on to the next. So that's what I have to do. So y'all motherfuckers, man, hit my line, nigga, at Sheila Chico on Instagram. On the gram, y'all already know. I, I am Chico on the snap. Yes, sir. We out of the bit. Yeah.